Today I'm going to show you how to change color on amigurumi so that you don't have quite so noticeable a line. This is where I change colors. You can kind of tell that it's not as noticeable. Noticeable. We have, this is an old giraffe that I made for my son. Lot of wear and tear on this one. But this is how I did it before I learned. And this is another example of the same kind of color change. Still noticeable. You can't really not make it show when you're doing it in the round unless you cut and attach. And I just don't like to do that. It's a lot of more work. But you can tell their difference. Pretty noticeable. So when you do it, um, right before you are going to change color, which will be in this stitch. So you pull up, I'll show you. Um, you begin just like you would a normal single crochet, but you don't finish it. So you leave that on the hook, drop this, and get your other color you're changing to, which is this blue, and you use that to finish. Pull it tight, get that one out of the way. Okay. So now we're using the blue. In the next stitch, right after you attach, I like to do a slip stitch and I don't pull it too tight, okay? Just like a normal slip stitch and then you continue to single crochet um, as you normally would. And that makes a big difference. Let me go all the way around and I'll show you. Almost there. We'll go over this. Okay. See, not too shabby. Like I said, you can still tell it's there, but it's just not as noticeable. Um, this is another one I did earlier. See, I just did this with the regular single crochet instead of the slip stitch. Much, much less of a difference, right? So that's how you change color when you're um, doing amigurumi. <laughs>